I'm Ben Kaufman, Brookline's town clerk. All Brookline voters are eligible to cast their ballot by mail. After you request a vote by mail ballot, keep an eye out for a large envelope from the town clerk's office. The envelope will include an election mail logo. Inside this envelope, you will find several items. First is a set of instructions. Read these carefully to make sure you properly fill out and return your ballot. Second is the ballot itself. The ballot says the date and type of election at the top and may be a different color based on the party if it is a primary or a general election. You should fill your ballot out with a black ballpoint pen. Third is a small inner envelope. Once you fill out your ballot, you will place it in this small envelope. Make sure you seal the envelope shut and sign your name on the front. This envelope will not be opened until the ballot is counted on election day. Finally, there is a medium-sized envelope. This envelope is used to mail your ballot back to the town clerk's office. The postage is already prepaid. Place the smaller envelope containing your ballot into this envelope and send it back to the town clerk's office. Voters should mail their ballots back as soon as possible. For many elections, the ballot must be received by the town clerk's office by the time the polls close on election day. If the ballot is received after this time, it cannot be counted. If you want to make sure your ballot is received on time, and avoid any potential delays with the mail, you can return your ballot in one of the official ballot drop boxes located in Brookline. These boxes are in front of the Coolidge Corner Library, the Putterham Library, and Brookline's Town Hall. You can also bring your ballot directly to the town clerk's office. You can check the status of your ballot at trackmyballotma.com.